One, well, as you know, the ACT testing season is quickly approaching. In fact, we have some schools testing the week after we return from fall break. So the fall ACT test will occur in two testing windows. The first testing window, as you can see on the board behind me, is the 4th of October to the 13th. Obviously, that first week is fall break. We do actually have two schools who are testing in the second week of the first window, the 11th through the 13th. And then we have the rest of us are testing in the second window, which is the begins the 18th of October and runs through the 27th. For what I'm going to talk about now, I'm going to use an example of one school in the first window and another school in the second window. And the reason why will make sense in just a minute. All right, so I'm going to start by sharing a screen that you're familiar with. Share screen. There we go. All right, so you should see the standard ACT testing screen, and you're familiar with the option setup, testing, and reports. Under testing is where we find the option for creating sessions. Creating sessions is one of the tasks we need to be thinking about now. So I'm going to click, click on sessions. Now, what you'll notice is um, I'm pretending to be Henry Clay High School. Henry Clay High School, like most of us, is testing in the second window. If I want to create a session, I have to find the option that says, well, create sessions, create and edit sessions. And that difference is important. And I'll tell you about that in just a second. Create edit sessions is found here under the drop down for tasks. It's also found here. Create edit sessions. Either way works. I'll just go with here. When I, collect, when I click on Create Edit Sessions, you'll notice there are no options on the left-hand side. That's because they haven't created any sessions yet. So I'm going to select Create Sessions. I have to give the session a name, select the school, the test assigned, a start date, a form group type, and a few other options, the start time, lab location. I'm going to switch to another school now, and you'll see why that's important. But when we first, when we create our first session, there's no sessions displayed on the left because this is a dual option, create and edit sessions. And I didn't want to confuse people by showing you a populated left-hand field there. So I'm going to switch to a different tab. Now you see it looks really similar. It's the create edit sessions. But if you notice, I'm now Frederick Douglass High School. Frederick Douglass is testing in the first window. That gives them a few different options. So Frederick Douglass has already created some sessions, but I want to talk you through this process. Let's suppose the session name is York, and I made this up, and I put sample. In case I inadvertently saved this, I want the good folks at Douglass to know this is that sample session I was experimenting with. So here's the session name. You have your school. Now the test assigned, we have to pick ACT MC for multiple choice. We select the start date. The best thing to do is select it from the drop-down calendar. Now, Frederick Douglass is testing in the first window, so I selected the 12th of October, which is in the first window. This is one of the key differences. They can actually select a form group type. And the form group type, this is really, really important, has to match the day we think we're going to be testing the kids. The previous example we looked at, we couldn't actually select the form group type, so I wanted to switch to one where we could see what that looks like. Select the form group that matches the day we're testing. The start time, always leave it at 1 a.m. I think that's the time like the servers for ECT turn on. We don't need to worry about the pre-caching. We're not going to be doing that. And then we can select student names by clicking in this blank box. And that will give us a drop down and we click next to the names. I'm not actually going to save this though because I don't want to mess up their data. Now, I'm going to pause this for a second, and you'll see why. All right, we're back. Now, you should notice I've inserted some red boxes in the bottom of the screen, and this will make sense in just a second. So let's go back to talk about these sessions. Once we've created the sessions, we have to do something called prepare our test sessions. And that's a little bit tricky to start with. So I'm going to go to testing. I'm on my home screen again. I'm going to go to testing, select an action, and sessions. And you can see the list of sessions that have already been created for Frederick Douglass High School. A few important things to note, these sessions have not been prepared, which is fine. They don't have to be prepared yet. We have the start dates for the sessions. It's really important to notice the differences in the start dates. 
the test of the ACT and the number of students they're testing. And then these two red boxes will make sense in just a second. If I want to prepare the test sessions, I have to choose the hyperlinked option under select tasks, the show students and sessions and control sessions. That's a little tricky to find. Notice these four boxes are found here and they're also found here, these same four options. But there's a real difference. The show students in sessions and control sessions is found under the drop down here, but it's not found here. To prepare our test sessions, we have to select this hyperlink option. The session I'm going to prepare, just for an example, is Gibson T3. It's the third one down for the Frederick Douglass sessions. Now you can see the reason I put the red boxes. When I select a session to prepare, it actually shows me the names of the students in that session. And I didn't want to reveal any identifying information. Now you'll notice uh, there's an option for prepare sessions. I'm not going to actually click on this because I don't want to prepare the sessions. Uh, Douglas needs to do that when they're ready. But if I click on prepare sessions, uh, the screen will change just a little bit. Once I've prepared the sessions, then I'm able to do things like print my testing tickets. Um, I can start thinking about printing the seal codes and all those things that we need to do before we actually take the test. So prepare sessions is found under Let's back up here, go back to the home screen, testing, select an action, sessions. If I want to create a session, I could go to create edit sessions. We can see that at this particular school, Frederick Douglass, they've already created sessions. If I want to create a new one, then I type the name, Frederick Douglass, I select the school, I can select the test assigned. I select the start date using the drop down calendar is the best way to do it. And then the form group type has to match the date, the start date for the test. So let me select the date in the window they're going to be using. And they're testing the first window. So I'll select the 12th of October. And then I would select the form group type for creating the session. Once we've created our sessions, then I'm going to go back to my home screen. If I need to prepare a session, that's under sessions. And the key difference here is it's this hyperlink control sessions. I select a session I want to actually prepare, and then I got to click on prepare sessions. So that's a little bit about creating sessions and preparing sessions, and we'll do a lot more work as we get much closer to the testing. Thanks a lot.